Okay, so far we have mixed etchant solution. We have applied toner to copper clad PC board. We have PC boards, cut them up, drilled them, and uh, a couple of days ago my oldest daughter and I populated and soldered 50 of these bad boys up. So there are the, there's one of the 50 boards that we put together. There it is all soldered and clipped. All right. So the next step is to drill out the boxes and the heat sinks and tap the heat sinks and put them together as a matched pair. Take a completed board, set it on top of the box and use it to mark your hole locations in the metal before you drill. All right, so that's about where I'm going to make uh, hold the board as I make my marks. And then just take the fine point. So, I'm going to make my marks. There's my output. There's my negative terminal. You can see the marks that I've made on the box. On this side, is my positive. In my little Dremel drill press right here, I have a 7 64th drill bit. I use this as my drill bit for the heat sink, which then gets tapped with a 632 thread. I also use this as my through hole for the two mounting screws for the PC board. The 4-40 screws will slip right through a 7 64 hole. And then I also use it as my pilot holes through the top of the case and for my fan leads and for my terminals on either side of the box. So I use the 764 drill bit to drill every hole in the box, which is uh, six, seven, eight, nine holes altogether in the box. Some of them are pilot holes and some of them are the finished holes. And I'm gonna turn on my drill. start slowly until I see the drill bit is centered correctly and finish the hole all the way through. The next step is to drill the holes for the heat sink to go through the top of the case. And I drill these together. I hold the heat sink in the, on the top of the case. You'll notice that the heat sink is again about mm, three sixteenths of an inch away from the edge of the of the case, about three sixteenths from from the end of the box. All right, it's not all the way to the edge of the box. It's about three sixteenths to maybe a quarter of an inch back. And what I do is I drill my first hole. And then when I go to drill additional holes, I don't want the, the heat sink to wander across the top of the box as I'm drilling my subsequent holes. Otherwise, the holes will not line up. So what I do is I drill my first hole, and then I just take a 4-40 screw, send it down through, that holds the heat sink in place, keeps it from wandering, and I can drill additional holes without worrying about them becoming misaligned. Now that that hole is drilled, I have my 440 screw. I just send it down through the top of the heat sink and into the hole. And the heat sink is now locked into place. It can't wander. It can spin, but it can't wander. So I have two more holes to drill, and you'll see what, what I do next. And now I'm going to put a second 440 screw down through. Now the heat sink is locked from sliding and it also cannot spin. And this will allow me to drill my third hole and they, they will be all perfectly aligned. All right then. 
Now I can take my 440 screws out of the heat sink and it's time to enlarge the holes that need to be enlarged and clean up, clean up the burred edges on the holes that have already been drilled. So I'll take So I change out the 964 drill bit for a number 632 tap. Now normally you wouldn't be able to do this with steel, but because of this aluminum is so soft, I can just take it and slowly send this right straight down through the heat sink and, and then reverse it and back it right out. That's one, one threaded hole. Two. Now I have three threaded holes in the heat sink. That's the good news. The bad news is there are some pretty large burrs on those holes that I need to get rid of. Otherwise the heat sink will not sit flat against the top of the case and the heat sink compound will not squish out and, and make a good thermal bond to the top of the case. So I'm just going to take the quarter inch drill bit in my second drill and very carefully just deburr these holes. Like that. Now you can see how nice and clean those holes are and that'll sit nice and flat against the top of the case with some heat sink compound in between. And then the last hole that I need to make is for the number 10 screw that does not have a fiber washer. So change bits. Drill that out. And I'll use this same drill bit now to clean up the burrs on all the remaining holes, top and bottom. So now I have a heat sink drilled to match the case that I drilled it for and you can see all three holes line up perfectly. And that's it. This case is drilled and ready for final assembly.